Okay. Okay. You ready? I am ready. America's favorite gigolo, Deuce Bigelow, has returned to work, this time taking on Europe. Please welcome Deuce Bigelow himself, Rob Schneider. <laughs> Nice to see you. Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> He's got to get over it. Uh, oh my gosh. Do you want me to get you an answer? Okay, I don't know why. Uh, uh, Can you get Purell? Yeah. No, no, it's wrong. not. Nice. It's fine. Rob. You got to get over it. No, it's a, it's a disorder. It's a, it's a, I, I, no, I have a. Have just, to, but then you, you just, you know. You no, just, you gotta, have a what, what, Are you afraid of anything? Uh, Are you afraid of anything? I actually I have antibacterial gel that I, I actually use that too. But you, Did know, you, you use shake it a lot of hands. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you're God. fine. Then I, I'm like I, a surgeon, man. I, I do this too. I get the back. I use. So you're that in stuff. good shape. Thank you, buddy. You don't even understand right now what's going on in his head. <laughs> no, I have no idea. I, mean, I can I actually hear know. things. Oh, oh, look, the ladies right there in the second row have antiseptic wipes. Bring it on. Thank it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. He's Throw not it. gonna come get it. Throw it. It's okay. Thank you. Hang it's on. okay. Let me just go. So let's wait. Let's. Okay. There you go. Sorry, Bob. Right, no problem. feel bad about no, yourself. We're no. sure you're very clean. What a gracious host I'm being. <laughs> <laughs> he touched me and I'm cleaning up. <laughs> yeah. So Rob, now, yeah. let's, let's talk about uh, your life a little bit. You were recently uh, a guest photographer for Playboy magazine. A what guest does, celebrity photographer. What does that mean? Uh, let me ask you, did you, did you touch them? <laughs> no, uh, there was no touching. Uh, so the girls are naked and there's you're... one girl, one girl. She's a very talented uh, model. Uh -huh. She's, uh, she, you know, it was, it was kind of embarrassing. It was a little, you know, it was a little tough. Because usually when I'm taking pictures of naked women, it's through a window. Right. So it was a little tough. And, and, and they certainly don't know. Right, well, yeah. Right. And I don't know how to work a camera unless I'm standing in the bushes. You know, so. Right. But anyway, uh... So was it uncomfortable? It was a little uncomfortable because there's a lot of people there. You know, she's a nude girl right in there. So do you find to make them more comfortable, you should be naked? Yeah, I, uh... Well, it's kind of weird because there are other people there, so you can't just, you know, take your pants off. There are other people there, too. But it was, uh, you know, you took pictures after a while, you kind of got used to it, and then after an hour, we put film in the camera. <laughs> it was all good. But it was, it was actually fine. I, I, after a while, I got into the, you know, to taking pictures. And, but they helped with the lights and stuff. But, but did you I, tell I, them what you told her what to do? Yeah, we dressed, the, the, I wanted to, like, uh, a library. And so it was like very conservative and kind of like an old, like when I was a kid, you know, when you watch, you know, when I discovered my dad's box of Playboy magazines, when I was a kid, it was all like, you know, your girls. Your dad's so happy that you're talking about this <laughs> Girls in libraries, you know, right. like I had her reading and like, you know, looking like, you know, I don't know. I thought it was sexy. So we're going to be back with some of those nude pictures in just a second. And we're going to do Just stay right where you are. And we're going to show the pictures in just a second. I don't know how to segue into this, but somebody was mentioning in the, in the office that now you have to wear, and I don't know why, you have to wear earplugs when you sleep. Yeah, I, well, a friend of mine, uh, David Garrett, gave me uh, these uh, frogs. I said, you know, said, you know, they're too big for my aquarium, and I got a big koi pond in the backyard. You, you frog. live real frogs. Yeah, yeah. Big... French people. <laughs> no. No. Oh. No, it's just a, um, <laughs> these, these, you know. Oh. Actual frogs. Actual frogs. And I said, oh, it's fine. Put him, he said, you know, and I didn't really think about it. And I said, yeah, 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 man, bring them by, you know, throw them in there. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if my koi will eat them or whatever, but I throw them in. And they're big. And then all of a sudden, you know, in the middle of the night, you hear the... <laughs> and they just, they're literally like you hear from three miles. That's the sound they make? Yeah. They just, I, I just thought like, somebody, you know, is there like a bear in my back? This was a gift for what? He, Why just, went, he was getting rid of them because his aquarium was too small. David Garrett, he wrote Deuce Bigelow. Right. And, jiggled right sure. and so he just threw, and I threw him in the, you know, put him in the pond. He said, feed him crickets. And I did for a couple of days. And I figured, you know what, you guys are on your own now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're doing fine, though. But you don't see them that often. But I'll hear them, and all of a sudden, and I'll be sleeping. And I'll be, Good Lord. So now i got to put the earplugs in. Maybe you should put another animal in the backyard that likes to eat frogs. <laughs> Maybe. Well, i got my puppy, so he might do it. Oh, he might well, do there it. you go. Let's so talk the new about, movie. Yeah, Deuce Bigelow. I love the first Deuce well, Bigelow. Thank you. This is the European follow-up. Yeah. Is that right? Well, I figured, you know, if you're going to do a sequel, you got to take it to another place. And uh... mm -hmm. You're not allowed to do the exact same movie twice, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> yeah. 
gosh. No, you, you, know, you really, I didn't think about that. What if people want to see different stuff, you know? Right. I mean, I would like to be in the theater the first time that happens. <laughs> right. But you figure the first one was, the first one was such a hit and it worked. Right. right. Stick with it. <laughs> well, so tell us about this one. Well, this, this one is... This one, basically, someone's killing the great gigolos. Uh, right. of the world and I figured you know I've been to Amsterdam a lot and I, right. I know you've been there before <laughs> and, uh, well Amsterdam is a great city they got right. you know legal prostitution legal marijuana so I figured that's where there'd be a, a, a society a union of, of man hoes so yeah. to speak right. and um, so it'd be fun for you know and the women in Europe are a little freakier so I think uh, it'd be fun for Deuce to have to go out with these crazier clients and then also to have to compete against these European man hoes and then uh, so uh, and, and this is based on a true story yes, right? <laughs> yes. and it, it's, it's a lot of fun it's rated R it's rated R I think you know people want to see it instead of just PG-13 kind of comedy mm -hmm. so let's see a clip you have to yeah. set up this clip oh yeah yeah someone's yeah basically uh, Deuce uh, found this gigolo that he'd met before in an alley and he's uh, he's actually dead, and Deuce just thinks he's high because he went to a coffee shop, Aww. and that's where they smoke illegal marijuana. So this is a a, a clip from that. Watch this. Hey, <laughs> so he's he dead, dead now. Yeah. 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 European disco yeah. yeah. opens this Friday everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, great.